Hello, I'm back. Sorry I've been gone so long, uh, all manner of things going on and not had any chances to get any videos on the go, but the good news is we're mic'd up and we're mac'd up, so we're going to be making some stuff. Now I've been promising people for a, a lifetime that I'd do some videos about Arch Linux, and this is my fun course on Arch Linux, we're going to have a look at it, we're going to have a play with it. Uh, anyone can do this. This video is aimed very much as a relaxed and light approach to Linux. Uh, the idea is you want to have a geek out, um, but you don't have to be an expert. You can just come in here and we'll do it and see how we go, eh? So, Arch Linux, why have I chosen this particular thing and why do everyone keep asking me for it? Arch is a very minimal install. It's simple, as it says, it's lightweight, and that's the main point. And the good thing about it is, is installing it will teach you the elements which make Linux, if you like, and the general principle of a Linux operating system, or indeed any operating system. Um, so there'll be a bit of a learning curve there. And then you'll put the layers in, which are the layers that make your computer, much like this Mac, is actually Linux, really, FreeBSD, whatever, behind the scenes with X11 Windows system, uh, just closed source by, by Apple. But the fact of this matter is that's all this is. And you're going to build an Arch system in a virtual machine, which is going to be pretty much the same thing. To do this, we're going to first of all download the ISO file, which is the image for Arch Linux. And we'll start that by going to www.archlinux.org and then coming over to the download link. Now scroll down and find your country from the mirror list. I'm in the United Kingdom, so if I was going to do it, I'd come down here and I'd probably choose bite mark at the top there. And as you can see, this one here is called Arch Linux 2016 10.01. Dual ISO, it's 792 meg, we want that. So click and download that. I've already got it to save you waiting for me to download it, so that's all good. Once you've got that, we then need to get VirtualBox. This is the virtual machine we're going to use to allow us to run Arch in a safe place where we can do what we like and it won't break anything, and importantly, won't break your computer that you're currently on. So click on Download VirtualBox. If you've got Windows, just click on that one, you'll get a .exe file. I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to click on that one. I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it now, but you'll click on it and download the file. You'll get your DMG file in your Downloads folder. So next we'll head over to Finder, and as you can see here, I've got the ISO file there, and I've got my DMG file there. Okay, and this will install VirtualBox for us. So let's do this, shall we? This is real time. I thought it'd be nice to show you what it looks like so you don't uh, get any nasty surprises when it does this. And what this will allow us to do is run virtual machines, which are pretend computers, much like the name virtual suggests. So as you can see here, we've got a nice installer window. It says double click on this icon. And then it says run the virtual box application from the applications folder. And it gives you a lovely user manual. So we'll do what it says and we'll double click the icon. And you can see it's mounting a disk image, which is bouncing around on the bottom, which is nice. It's going to verify. I don't know how long this process is going to take, by the way. Um, thought we'll do it live just so you can see what to expect. Now you'll notice it's doing stuff behind the here. It's saying here, this package will run a program to determine if the software can be installed. Continue. Okay, so it's saying here, introduction, blah, blah, blah. Ignore that. Click continue. Okay, it's noticed how much space you'll need. And it's going to install it onto the disk, so we'll install it. Once we just stick my password in. Okay. Off it goes. It's going to install all the stuff for us. And once we've done this process, we'll then be able to look at all oh, diddling. There we go. So the installation was successful. Close that. And you can successfully close that. And you can successfully close that. And now we're in a position where it's time to fire up the arch setup disk, which is the ISO we've just downloaded. So now we need to go to our applications and we should have a virtual box. See? Click on that. That will now load up virtual box. And what we want to do is we want to click on new. It asks us what name and operating system would we like. Well I'm just going to call this Arch because that's what it is and if I could spell it that would be great. Uh, it's Linux, it knows about it, it knows it's 64-bit Arch Linux, it's good times. So we click continue. It asks us how much RAM do we want to give to this virtual machine. Um, I've got 
8 gig available uh, it wants to give it a gig a gig's probably fine um, do you know I think what I might do is just go with 2 uh, just to be on the safe side you can probably just use a gig you know but you know if you've got it you know you might as well use it it'll just speed things up a little bit but 2048 will do me 8 gig hard drive should be big enough because we're just going to be messing around with it. Uh, it'll create a virtual hard disk for us, so don't worry about that. Create. We'll go with a normal virtual disk image. Continue. Continue again. Happy with the name of it, calling it Arch. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Reminds us that we've got a gig drive. Click Create. And that has now created a virtual machine. Now, we can configure all this stuff, but we're not going to bother because I might do a different tutorial for that. But that's basically our machine ready to roll, right? This is our server now, built onto our system. Won't affect anything that you're running. It's all good. So I'm going to break the videos up. So this will be the first video of how to get this set up, just in case you want to go through it again. Uh, once you've got this basic system set up, when you click on it, and click Start, it will realize it's the first time we've run it. And it's going to ask us, if do we want to use a disk, basically? Yes, yes, we do. There's none in there, see? So we click on this one here, and we go to our Downloads folder, and we want the ISO image, Arch Linux ISO. Click Open, click Start, and that will now start you a virtual machine. There you go, look, which is running the Arch install disk. You said you want to boot Arch Linux x86-64, yes we do. And this will now boot up the installation disk. You'll get these messages telling you all about auto keyboard capture and everything. You can just close them when you've read them. This is Arch Linux's, if you like, installation, setup disk, live disk, whatever you want to call it. There you go. Arch Linux is running in our virtual machine. Now, some of you might be thinking, wow, that was easy. Yeah, well, that's just the installation disk running. We now have to create a machine. And we'll do that in the next video. So hopefully that gives you a little teaser because I'm probably not going to do these all on the same day. But uh, it's good to be back. Uh, hopefully you'll enjoy them. And in the next video, we're actually going to start installing Arch Linux on our virtual box. See you then. Bye.